what are you doing to capitalize on what's going good uh, for anyone else who's having a who's just had a bumper year? What are you doing to double down on those things as a, as a leader within the organization? Yeah, I mean, for us, what that really looks like, you know, it we're we're um, you know as as much as we can. Uh, grow and improve like we're kind of at a matured uh, point with our team where we have good training processes, good onboarding processes. We've got good recruiting. We've got a good employee track, ascension track. So when people come in, there's uh, a clearly mapped out and defined path for them to go from brand new SDR on the phone to senior salesperson, closer, or team leader. So um for us, it's it, it, the the opportunity is really just getting more people into the system, and how do we how do we grow the team? Um, because the demand is tremendous for the information that we have right now, and and so for us, it's we built a whole new team to mine the database, like outside of our corporate um, uh, efforts that we have, our marketing efforts, sales efforts that we have, we built a team uh, who really is going after our our non subscription based, uh, you know, contract based, uh, training programs, selling event tickets and, uh, uh, different pro programs and, and things that, uh, of that nature. So it, it's given us the opportunity to go, well, we've, we're in a position where we can bring this team on. We, we have enough surplus right now to where we can go negative for a few months while the, the team kind of gets their feet underneath them and and figure out how to reach out to this new kind of group of our company and you know that'll be a that'll be an eight figure division of the company by the end of 2021 um based on the last four months of sales so um you know again it's just finding out where you can go a little bit deeper and uh you know we added a actually an upsell to our corporate product so again all of our existing customers we went back we applied the same formula things started getting wild and crazy and businesses started failing. And, and we just said, okay, well, if it's going to be harder to get new customers, what can we do to create something that adds more value uh, for the existing customers that they're willing to pay for? And so we created a coaching program for our corporate sales training platform where uh, rather than us giving you our online sales training platform with you know basic customer support, uh, we brought on a team of coaches. We're up to eight now. Uh, who basically have scheduled calls on a weekly basis and they deliver the training uh, on behalf of the organization. And so it, it goes down a little bit deeper into the relationship that we have with the customers and, and gives um, we, we assume a little bit more responsibility for the way that the communication is delivered, the way that the training is delivered, and then also um, how the, the team is actually applying it. So we just have a more active role with the customers and they pay us more for that. So tell me to get stuffed here if there's anything that is confidential you, want to sh you don't want to share. But when you say database, is this a, a CRM system? And if you can share, what CRM are you using? Are you yeah. using any tools, any analytic tools? Give me the kind of the stack, the, the technology stack that you're using here. Yeah, so uh, we, we don't have a, a – Grant Grant doesn't – until we get a check from them, we don't yep, talk about it. I get it. it. So, <laughs> um, but we've got, we've got a, a database, a massive database, 1.9 million uh, contacts, uh, and really the, um, the thing that we uh, – we send a lot of emails. So, you know, we have customers that buy everything we sell. Uh, but they do it on their own terms because they've unsubscribed from the list and they never see the promotion. So um, a way around that for us is to pick up the phone and make a call. Um, it's not the most efficient way. Uh, however, we have the scale and we have uh, the product line. Uh, I, I had a guy on our team uh, call on a $25 book order. Somebody bought a $25 book and the, the CSR team called talked to the customer and sold them a hundred thousand dollar coaching program. So, you know, like when you have the, and that just throws lifetime value off the, the charts, yeah. you know, sure. when you go from selling a $400 online course or a thousand dollar event ticket and you drop a hundred thousand dollar coaching program in there, it just, it, it makes that work even better. And so, um, again, for us, it's just finding all of the, finding all of the cracks that customers are falling through that we're missing 
And every business needs to get more scrappy right now. And, and in most cases, the challenging thing that people are going to have to come to terms with extremely fast is that <clears throat> depending on your business, it could be twice as hard or three times as hard to get the same amount of output that you were getting pre-pandemic. And for a lot of people, that's really difficult because they've, you know, for seven years, nine years, things were really good and really easy and everybody had money and people were confident and economy was great. Stock market was great. And then, um, you know, you get used to that. So it's just a re-education and it's a, a couple years of, of having to, um, eat shit. If I can say that, you know, um, you just, you're just going to have to roll your sleeves up and, and, and do some gritty work and until things kind of start coming back. Sure. But the hungry, the hungry person always eats the, the hungriest, the, the, the person who's, when the pie gets smaller, the, 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 the people that are willing to bulldog their way through and, and, and get their slice, um, you know, they're the ones that always get fed. 